Nowadays, it's actually pretty weird if you download an app and it doesn't have both a dark and a light mode available. So it makes sense why we might want something like this for our website. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set your website up to automatically switch color modes based on the user's preference in their browser or operating system. It's actually super simple to do and only takes a few lines of CSS, which of course I will share with you in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So here you can see I just have a default install of Generate Press. I'm gonna jump into the customizer here and we'll go into the colors tab and we'll see we have the default color setup: contrast, contrast two, contrast three, and we have our base colors and accent color. All of these have already been assigned to the appropriate places. This is just the way it comes default when you install Generate Press. Now what we're gonna need to do is actually get all those color codes in a format we can work with inside CSS. So to do that, I'm gonna right click here and go into the Inspect tool. And over here on the side panel, I'm gonna scroll down until we find all these colors inside of our root. So right here we can see the word root and these are all our colors from the customizer. I'm gonna go ahead and copy all these. So we'll select them and press Control C on my keyboard and we can exit out of there. Now we can go back into the customizer, into our additional CSS and we can paste that in there. We can see now that this is actually the CSS that's behind all the colors we set up inside of our customizer. Just to give you an example, if I change this FFF, which is the white color here and here, if we changed it to 000, it's gonna override what's set in the customizer. So next what we need to do is set up a rule that will only change these colors if somebody has their operating system or browser set to dark mode. To do that, we'll just go up to the beginning of our CSS here and we'll do at media. Then we're gonna open parentheses and we're gonna do prefers color scheme, then colon dark. And here we're gonna to have to open and close curly brackets again we'll just put this close one at the bottom. So this is kind of like doing a media query, but we're just targeting the prefers color scheme dark. Now what I'm gonna to have to do here is pull up the settings inside my browser. So we'll go to settings here, go to appearance, and we can see right now I'm in light mode. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to dark so we can see these changes taking place. So for our white color, which we know is here, Let's go ahead and change this to a fairly dark color, maybe 333. And we can see that's automatically changed because I'm in dark mode. But if I go back to light mode, we're back in our light mode colors. So all we need to do now is go through and replace all these colors with what they need to switch to once they're in dark mode. If you're designing the site and setting it up in something like Figma, you could map out your colors like this and say, okay, in light mode, this color's here, but in dark mode, it's here. But right now we're just using a demo site. So we're just gonna go through and manually and find what all these colors are and then change them out. So I know this accent color is our blue here and it looks okay in dark mode, but I think it's a little too dim. So I'm gonna just change this to Dodger blue, which brightens it up a little bit. Here for our base two, my guess is that is this gray color here, which I want an even darker color. So now we have that set up for this original base. One way to check and see what these things are is you could just put in yellow here and we can see that's just changing this outline on the search box. So here we might just say, I want this to be light gray. Contrast three, I think this is the highlight on the search box, but we can test it again by just putting in yellow or any other bright color. We can see that is changing to yellow. So we might want that to match our Dodger blue. So we'll do Dodger blue. Here in contrast two, let's see what we're affecting here. Looks like the date and tag information. So again, we might wanna go with uh, light gray on that. And then contrast here, this is our text color. Let's just say for making this easy, we'll make this white. Let's go ahead and jump out of the customizer and we can go here and we can see that this is the homepage we've set up. Of course, if we go into one of our blog posts, all of that is already set up as well. We can open back up our settings here and change this to light mode and see here was our original design for the blog post, but with the override for the user's preferences, we can go right into dark mode and this still looks beautiful. Now this is gonna be a whole lot more simple the more simplistic your website is. If you've used tons of colors inside your color palette or if you've not been good about always assigning those colors to the colors from the palette, 
this whole process becomes a lot more complicated. So for me, this is something I would wanna be thinking about from the beginning of a website project so I can plan all these things out accordingly and have all those processes in place before the project starts. Coming back and trying to do this to an old website is definitely gonna be much harder, though it's not impossible. Now, of course, you might wanna include something like a dark mode switcher so people can toggle back and forth between these different modes. I decided not to include that in this video as it does introduce some extra JavaScript that we'd have to write for all that. But if you're interested in seeing how I've approached that in projects before, let me know down in the comments and maybe we can do a future video on that. If you wanna check out some recent videos I've done on Generate Press and Generate Blocks, you can click either of these videos here and make sure you're subscribed and we will catch you on the next one.